right, you know, and like that really matters when we're using the phone. <laughs> Fix my hair. I look like a dog. <laughs> you look like a dog. That's I random. Look like a dog. My hair is all like bow wowed right now. You look like a dog. So, um, the only reason why you wear stuff like this, like this massive, incredibly crazy, I'm melting in this hotel room hoodie is because it's negative 20 it's negative 20 with the wind chills like negative five or negative six right now outside and um since you don't know where we're at well but it's bikini we should, weather it's your <laughs> bikini weather yeah i guess <laughs> you're like used to this if you're some like ice queen or something um but we have to start the video properly okay so let's do this right now. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. This is David Esquire coming to you live from EPHQ. Dot Rochester, Minnesota. And welcome. Um, this is the second take on the video. We got like almost all the way through and then I realized <laughs> my stupid microphone wasn't plugged in. <laughs> way to go. <laughs> Anyways. So I'm going to act like I'm telling this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the second time. But no, seriously, and all jokes aside, you guys, um, for about the past six, almost seven months, uh, this all started uh, six to seven months ago. I've uh, undergone like insane amounts of testing, uh, blood tests, scans, pokes, prods, you name it, just ridiculous amounts of testing. And it all started because I still can't taste, smell, and at the time when we um, launched this campaign... Due to long COVID. Yeah, thinking it was long COVID and causing ridiculous amounts of COVID amnesia, like, <laughs> I don't remember anything. I'm like, I'm not as bad as 10 Second Tom, but I had my moments, or have my moments, I should say, but um, I wanted to get to the bottom of it. I just was getting really frustrated that... It just wasn't getting any better. And I was going on my three-year anniversary of not tasting, smelling, or memory loss. So to sum it all up, there are some things that I'm not ready to disclose yet um, because there's, I don't, I'm just not going to accept the answers yet. Uh, but there is something that is happening um, tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., um, we're down here in Rochester, and for anybody that's in the Minnesota Tri-State area, in the middle of Rochester, Minnesota, there is the Mayo Clinic. It's a world-class um, hospital. Incredible hospital that's really, has done a lot for David since we've a lot. gotten a great neurologist. Yeah, um, Dr. Muhib Khan has been the doctor, the neurologist that has spearheaded this entire process um, and I've got some tests and we're getting more tests done but the big thing and the reason why I'm here is that <clears throat> excuse me uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Tuesday the in the day of our Lord the 16th day of our Lord year 2024 of the month of January I'm doing my best to have levity here it is a very serious situation um, I'm being admitted to the hospital and having a fourth heart surgery. Not a fourth consecutive heart surgery, but this is my fourth heart surgery um, since like 2006, 2007. And um, for this one, I won the genetic lottery. Um, there, I disagree with the doctors because I never had the issues that I'm experiencing right now prior to COVID. Or we have such an awesome doctor that this heart doctor, or this neurologist finally figured out what was wrong. Yeah. That's what I think. It's like, you got such an awesome doctor that he's like, oh, looky here. <laughs> Look what you win. Winner, winner, chicken no, dinner. No, they found it. Yeah, so they that's... found it. After all the surgeons from Minnesota to Newport Beach, from Hogue Hospital to Northwest and everything in between, nobody else caught it, but they caught it here. And what it is, is in the middle of your heart, there's a wall that separates the dirty, contaminated used blood and the blood that is clean. This is the way I understand it. And in that wall, there is a hole. That hole, we all have. You have it, Christine had it. Well, you either have or had it. Christine had it. I had it, but apparently, according to the doctors, it mine never closed. closed. So, I, I, this is where I disagree because I didn't have, 
what the best way to describe the symptoms that I experience is that if you've ever seen any of the alien movies, like the alien series, um, it feels like an alien baby bursting out of your chest at times. It's, I thought I actually got a fib from COVID, but no, it's this, um, the surgeons thought they could patch it, not patch it, um, put me on medicine and they looked and they're like, no, you're like the holes just not fixable with medicine. They ha actually have to go in and install a device to fix that particular um, anomaly in my heart. And so tomorrow morning, it, to, it's like a patch disc device thing. Of course, the first thing I'm asking is, am I gonna be Iron Man with like something here on my chest or having cables coming out of me, nuclear reactor, anything to make me superhuman, even more super amazing than what I already think I am in my head, in my head. And um, he said, no, it's just a device that they are going to put in and it's supposed to fix the issues I'm experiencing. And then over time, um, my heart, my body will just kind of form scar tissue over it and then like fully close it down. So um, it is scary. I'm, to be really transparent, I'm really freaking out. Um, the first three heart surgeries I had, I just it was like business as usual. This one, I'm extraordinarily spooked. I'm just freaked out and um, doing my best to kind of keep it together, be a man for the woman. But <laughs> anybody that's ever had in a situation like this, it's really challenging. So what I'm A, wanting to do is let you know what's going on. Um, some of you, you know, seen that I haven't been around as much over the past half a year-ish. Um, some of you that have been working with me or know me know it's like, well, yeah, David still can't taste. You're kidding. Still can't smell. No way. And he doesn't remember your name. Not that bad. But there are moments where it's like you could have had a conversation with me and I wouldn't remember two days later. Like literally just, she, I just got brain. Um, but the and biggest there's a whole story behind that too. And, and, and I'm what, not, what yeah. doctors think about what's going on with that. Right. But that's the video is already that's... at like going on seven and a half minutes of me rambling. So I was do my best to finally cut to the chase. Not as bad as um, how I became the caffeinated photographer movie, but it's close. But anyways, um, what i reaching out to you guys is your prayers. I really, you, as you know, I do believe in the power of prayer. I do believe in miracles. I do believe, obviously you guys know I believe in God. And that's a whole other discussion, so I won't talk about that. Um, <laughs> but even if you don't pray or believe in God, just whatever chi or energy thoughts it doesn't matter i you know i believe that we're all connected one way or another and i just i need all of your love and support and prayers right now like i said i'm scared to death about this procedure tomorrow morning we just got the word i go in at nine and it's like 12 hours from now so um that's really what's going on and I debated whether or not I wanted to share this and I wanted to keep it private and but you guys know I have a hard time <laughs> keeping things private and um, and I tend to share with you what's going on and this is something that's pretty serious so uh, to all of my friends everybody that's out there everybody that I consider close and everybody that's not as close and everything in between just I need your prayers I need your positivity your thoughts um, not just for me but please for the doctors, for the surgeon that's leading the charge, for Christine, who's been standing next to me and you know just really being a far bigger rock than I could have ever dreamt of. Um, I feel really blessed that she's still putting up with me, let alone standing and sitting here next to me <laughs> during all this craziness. Okay. So she's like tapping me on like, okay, honey, okay, <laughs> keep going, keep the train going. <laughs> Like they say, behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. <laughs> Anyways, um, please, like, I'm just, I'm reaching out to you, all of my friends and family, everybody around the world, around this planet. I'm, I'm reaching out for your prayers. Tomorrow morning, I go in at 9 a.m. Chicago time. And uh, any positivity, any well wishes would be fantastic. I've got a great um, surgeon that's going to be leading it, the team. And... Um, the neurologist that started everything almost seven months ago, Dr. Muhib Khan, uh, here at the Mayo um, in Rochester, has been phenomenal. This man, like from day one, he was like, okay, so we're going to draw some blood. Get 19 vials, like 19. It was just like 
click, click, click. It just kept going, and I'm sitting there. And then from there, it was like every imaginable test and tube and everything that you can think of under the sun from Rochester to the sports uh, clinic in downtown Minneapolis for the Mayo as well. So I just feel really blessed. I've had some great doctors and and, and bless that this is not open heart surgery. It's not. Yeah, they're not going to fillet, you know, like flay my back yeah. like in Game of Thrones and Vikings. They're not going to do that to my chest. Uh, they're going in through both my legs. One leg's going to be for the tool and the parts, and then the other leg is supposed to be for the camera. And um, it, God willing, and everything goes together right, um, I go home on Wednesday at some point, but t I just got the time, so I go in tomorrow morning at 9. And he that, needs to rest and not... Start working right after that. Eh, y'all know me. I even brought a bag with me with all my freaking vlogging equipment. I'll probably be in, like, the bed tomorrow at the end. Hey, guys, what's up? David Esquire. You know, it'd be like one of those YouTube videos, you know. But I'm not going to a dentist, so I'll have some brain cells about me. But, yeah, that's what's going on. So pray that I don't have pain. Pray that uh, the doctors do a great job. I have a phenomenal, fantastic, miraculous recovery that's fast. And um, this ain't stopping me, you know, like Einstein said, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And he equated that to um, the spiritual forces as well. He, Einstein also believed that when for every positive thing that we set out to embark on or every positive bit of us that we will experience the complete opposite negative forces working against us. And let me tell you, the drive down here sucked. <laughs> Cold, Mini Cooper, high performance suspension, and I'm still, whoa. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty intense. Um, so yeah, that just means there's uh, great things ahead of me. I think I recently shared something on my Facebook wall that said, uh, you know, uh, something people, you know, the enemy doesn't uh, break into an empty house, you know, that sort of thing. So there's some great things that I believe God's got ahead of me that he's got me slated to do. So I've got some great doctors, but I do believe in the power of prayer, miracles, and God, and I need all of it from you guys. So I'm reaching out to you guys, the prayer warriors out there. Pr please pray for me. Pray for my doctors. Pray for Christine. Pray for my two brothers to help keep their heads from spinning off their shoulders. My brother Jason, my brother Tony, and then all my friends that are you know, going through this with me. And um, I just really appreciate all of you guys. And stay tuned because uh, over the holiday season, I've just got quite a bit uh, under wraps right now that I'm getting ready to just like kind of mesmerize and wow you with and just totally blow your minds with. If you all thought I am not a mectographer it was crazy. <laughs> it's about to get real. All right, so let's wrap this up, you guys. I think I've got a hoodie somewhere in here. She got a hoodie too, so we're gonna do this right. We're gonna do the hood, the 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 Rochester hoodies. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can Wait you see you now? Can you see me now? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. And this is David Esquire coming to you live from <laughs> EPHQ dot Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, Happy New Year, yay! Uh, but. Please, I need your prayers, your thoughts, and uh, for me, for Christine, for the doctors, for Miraculous Recovery. And uh, stay tuned for an update. Um, if I don't update you, you'll hear from Christine. She'll drop something on my wall, but yeah. I, I want to drop something. I want to do wall, another video. I, I try to stay off Facebook. It's just been uh, social media. It's social a, media. It's a disaster. That, <laughs> that Vicki Valancourt, she's the devil. <laughs> Facebook, that's the devil. Yeah, <laughs> My Bobby Boucher, he ain't played no foosball. <laughs> and I'm writing a song about it, too, so. Ooh, oh, you did. Wait a minute. You did not just. <laughs> you heard it right here finished. first. You, you heard it. You heard it. If, if you thought it's, that it's a 10 years in a, in a making. Wow, you know, great things don't happen overnight. No, oh no. My, you can't believe you just sneaky sneak <laughs> slipped that in. She's like, oh, and by the way, would you like to buy some candy? <laughs> would you like a gold watch? <laughs> wow. Okay, well, you heard it first right here. Right, right here. You heard it. It's, I can tell you, um, you could compile all of Christine's music and vocals and everything else that she's done 
and put it all together, and it is a shadow. Oh, I'm only dropping one out of all of it. <laughs> it is everything that she has done in the past is not anytime a, soon, so it'll get your hopes. Is up. a dull <laughs> shadow of what she is making right now, and, and okay, okay, and anyways. It, and anyways, and so and then not only that, but it's like as you may or may not know, but in in my humble opinion, I am okay. H O. I'm not a ho, but I am H O. Um, Christine's got one of three of the most amazing female so, vocalist voices out there. Yeah. You know, anyways, it's it's <laughs> it's Justine Suiza who works with Above and Beyond, Audrey Gallagher who works with her peoples, dude Armin Van Buren, and then Christine. So yeah, so, and she's she gonna try to be like, now shut up. <laughs> so yeah, you guys. So whoa, I yeah. can't believe you dropped that. That's wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap! I usually get throat punched whenever I start talking about her experience in the music I know, industry. I just need some. I need to see a smile on your face. That's all. <laughs> that was pretty badass. That was a good, di nice diversion. Well yeah. done. High five. <laughs> I'm high fiving myself for her amazingness. Yes, good job. All right, that's it, you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, until next time, remember to do one thing, and one thing properly. It's over here on the other side of this amazing camera, wrapped in plastic. Oh, stay caffeinated. <laughs> what movie is that from? If you know, you know. And until next time, stay caffeinated. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>